Hi, I'm Steve from LotPro.com, and today I'll be taking a look at the 2011 Toyota Corolla. I've always felt that the Toyota Corolla was a bland, plain chain kind of vehicle meant for traveling from point A to point B with the least amount of excitement or driver involvement. Not the kind most of us around here who enjoy driving would choose. And while it is some of those things, after spending a week driving a 2011 LE, I walked away with a new appreciation for Toyota's long-running compact sedan. In front, narrower headlight enclosures and the addition of a horizontal center bar to the grille make it look more Camry-esque, if you will. A larger trapezoidal-shaped lower intake flanked by vertical side pods also gives it a more aggressive look. In back, the tail lamps are smaller, while a horizontal chrome trim strip running just above the license plate ties them both together. All told, the changes to the Corolla give it even more of a resemblance to the top-selling Camry, making it a bit less nondescript, although hardly exciting. Inside, there is ample head, shoulder, and leg room for front as well as rear seat passengers, with plenty of room for four adults, plus a fifth if necessary. At 92.1 cubic feet, nearly nine more than the 2012 Honda Civic, the cabin feels both spacious and airy. The front seats are comfortable, and, other than soft bolstering, very supportive. Overall, interior fit and finish is excellent. With the exception of the less than flattering fabric covering the seats, everything else about the interior is certainly above average for this class. All major vehicle controls are within easy reach of the driver, are very intuitive, and operate smoothly. Although not nearly as cutting edge as some interior designs out there, the Corolla's dashboard is simple, straightforward, and tasteful. One particularly nice feature is the presets button on the radio that allows users to preset AM, FM, and satellite stations next to each other without having to toggle through different bands. In order to pair my iPhone to the car's Bluetooth system, I did have to consult the owner's manual, although the process itself was simple enough from there. Cargo volume is a useful 12.3 cubic feet, while the rear seat also splits and folds flat for additional hauling capability. The base Corolla comes standard with air conditioning, an ingenious upper and lockable lower glove compartment, six airbags, driver's seat height adjustment, AM FM CD audio system, electric steering, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, intermittent wipers, front disc rear drum brakes with ABS, stability control, traction control, brake assist, and smart stop technology. The LE trim adds power windows and locks with keyless remote, cruise control, and variable intermittent wipers. The S adds sports fabric seats, sport instrumentation, steering wheel mounted audio controls, fog lamps, a body kit, rear spoiler, and chrome tipped exhaust extensions. The base model comes standard with a 5-speed manual with the option of a 4-speed automatic, with the automatic being the only transmission choice for the LE and S drivers. Only one option, power windows, is offered for the entry version. Standalone options on the LE include an upgraded radio with USB and Bluetooth phone capability, alloy wheels, and a moonroof. Once I got over the fact that the Corolla has absolutely no sporting pretension, I was able to enjoy the way it handled in everyday driving. Despite the fact that it's on the soft side, the ride is very well controlled. Although it's not in the same league as the Ford Focus, kudos to Toyota for making a simpler suspension perform, in my opinion, much better than those of either the Hyundai Elantra or the Honda Civic. Steering is also a bit numb on center, but again, an improvement over both the Honda and the Hyundai. The Corolla is hardly a front runner in the stoplight Grand Prix, but acceleration is fairly brisk. Although if you decide to put your foot into it, there is more sound than fury. Braking is certainly adequate and feedback from the brake pedal was also good. Although, somewhat surprisingly, as rear drums to accompany the front discs. Corolla pricing begins at $16,660 for the base model and could top out at close to $22,000 if you place a check mark in all the options boxes including those installed by the dealer. So what's the bottom line? Most Corolla buyers keep returning because it's affordable, dependable, gets good gas mileage, and it will get you from point A to point B without, for better or ill, any drama whatsoever. It's also a reasonably quiet cruiser on the highway while being equally at home on the rutted and pothole-strewn streets of Chicago, 
with neither the bounciness of the accent nor the skittishness of the civic, and with an interior that Honda should also study carefully. Those who look for quality, value, comparatively low depreciation, and fuel efficiency over cutting edge styling, handling, and performance will find the current Toyota Corolla, as they have in the past, to be an ideal vehicle. Well, there you have it, the 2011 Toyota Corolla. I'm Steve from LaPro.com. Have a great day.